Hey everyone, welcome back to Sense and Science. Today, we're diving into something that's working non-stop every second, every minute, every day of your life, your heartbeat. But what exactly is a heartbeat? Why does your heartbeat? And how does this powerful pump keep you alive? Let's find out. Part 1. What is a heartbeat? Your heart beats about 70 to 100 times per minute when you're resting. That's over 100,000 beats a day. But each of those beats isn't t just a random thump. It has a perfectly timed event made of two main phases, systole and diastole. Systole is when the heart contracts to pump blood out. Diastole is when the heart relaxes and refills with blood. This contraction and relaxation is what creates the sound you hear the classic, love dub. Part 2. Where does the sound come from? The love comes from the atrioventricular valves, the tricuspid, and mitral closing as blood moves from the atria to the ventricles. The dub comes from the semilunar valves, the aortic and pulmonary closing, after the blood is pumped out. This valve action prevents backflow, making sure blood moves in just one direction, forward. Part 3. What controls the beat? Now here's the cool part, your heart has its own built-in electricity, it's called the conduction system, and it starts with the synovatrial node, or SA node your heart's natural pacemaker. The SA node sends out an electrical signal, it spreads through the atria, causing them to contract, then it reaches the atrioventricular node AV node, pauses briefly, and continues through the bundle of his and Purkinje fibers. This chain reaction causes the ventricles to contract sending blood out to your lungs and the rest of the body no nerves needed your heart beats independently even outside your body for a little while at least part four why the heartbeat matters every heartbeat means oxygen rich blood is reaching your brain muscles and organs at the same time your heart is removing waste like carbon dioxide Without this constant circulation, cells would die in just minutes. Your heart adjusts its beat automatically depending on what you're doing. Sleeping, slower heartbeat, running, faster heartbeat, stressed or scared, even faster thanks to adrenaline. It's your body's way of adapting to your needs, second by second. Part 5 when the beat goes wrong. Sometimes though, the heartbeat can go off rhythm. This is called arrhythmia. It could be too fast, too slow, or irregular. Some are harmless. Others can be life-threatening. That is why doctors use ECG machines to monitor the electrical signals of your heart to check if everything is working in harmony. High blood pressure, clogged arteries, or even stress can throw your heart's rhythm off balance. But with regular exercise, a good diet, and less stress, you can help keep your heartbeat steady and strong. So the next time you feel your heart pounding after a run, racing during a scary movie, or slowing down as you drift to sleep, just remember that's your heart adapting, working, and fighting to keep you alive. It's not just a beat, it's a lifeline. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more science made simple. And as always, stay curious, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one.